Howdy guys, this is DJ J Miller with a quick tutorial on Sam Broadcaster 2. Now as most tutorials teach you all the basics, um, there is a few things that they do not teach. So I'm going to get through that um, in this tutorial. So hopefully it will be a pretty short tutorial. Um, so first things first, once the uh, software is installed, what you're going to do is come up to the top left to file config down the bottom to registration key now when you're doing these boxes you want to copy and paste your key and then click register then it should say key accepted and since we're already in the configuration now we'll come to the middle here to crossfading now what you want to do um, come to down to fade out you want your time all the way to the right your level all the way to the left and then once that's done click OK what that does is when a song is playing in uh, one of the decks um, the song won't fade out so say if you know we didn't um, come back here say we didn't even touch this yet and you're playing a song um, near the end of the song it will start to fade out before the next song starts playing which is what we don't want so as we just did we um, just did that and that should make the song not fade out near the end and then you can simply uh, click the next song to start playing which will sound a lot better when you're streaming on air um, so that's out of the way. Come up to here where it says Auto DJ, where the arrow is, click that. You have Auto DJ mode, Play Q, Manual DJ. What you want to do is click Manual DJ. Um, if it were on Auto DJ, um, let's just try this. Alright, so you see there how Deck B, the Deck B song started to play over Deck A. That's uh, that's what you don't want. So what you want to do click manual DJ and Then uh, this is how it should it sound. Let me just click these songs that's that so obviously it sounds a lot better it works better and it sounds more professional for when you're streaming on a radio um, there is another thing here you have the history um, actually before I get into no nah, hang on yeah I'll show you the history part first so you know you have a history full of songs if you want to get rid of all the songs what you want to do is go to tools I think it is um, yep go to tools then maintenance then what you want to come down to is clear history click that click yes now after you do that you have to exit this so it's completely gone come up to window and then bring it back by clicking history and then all your songs are gone and uh, yeah <laughs> now the other thing I was gonna say when you first install the broadcaster if you knew you'll know um, you won't know this um, this layout here isn't how it will be you have a couple other things 
like the sound effects and uh, crossfader I think it is. Um, I got rid of those because I don't use those. Um, and the encoder here, uh, well it's, you have to go to window and where's the encoder? You have to click encoders and then it should pop up here on the screen and just move it to where you want. You need the encoders to stream on the ra on any radio. Um, one more thing, we'll go to let's go on MP3. Now, yeah, right. Server details. Usually, Habo radios use Shoutcast. Um, same with a lot of other radios. Um, Icecast, on the other hand, is pretty much the same as Shoutcast. But Icecast does provide a l that little more. Um, I don't actually know why no Habo fan sites use it, but it is very useful. Um, again, they do pretty much the same thing. And I'm pretty sure that is all I was going to teach you. I don't think there is anything else. Let me just check. Um, song sound effects. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, actually, hang on, there is one more thing. If I can find it. Uh, statics relays, I think it is. Yeah, alright, so what you're going to do is, you don't have to use this, I used to use it, I don't anymore. Um, it is a bit laggy, I guess, um, but if you want to use it, just click the plus button, uh, shoutcast if you're using shoutcast, or icecast if you're using icecast, click OK. Then what you're going to do is, whatever fan site or radio you're DJing on, just put the encoded details in there, click OK, and then when, when you're actually DJing on that, it should pop up and tell you how many listeners are tuned in. So at the moment there's zero, obviously, because, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but um, that is that. Um, but, no, that's pretty much the tutorial, um, now I'm gonna do a few more tutorials on a few other things that's not Sam, uh, which is Adobe Audition FL Studio 10, uh, maybe Photoshop, um, and it's Cinema 4D, and yes, these icons are a little big. I don't actually know how to make it small again, <laughs> I forgot, but um, maybe virtual DJ, uh, have to see. Um, but with Adobe Audition and FL Studio, I'll be teaching you how to do jingles. Um, Adobe Audition uh, is pretty much for FX and all that type of stuff. FL Studio. Do FL Studio, sorry, is actual create creating music and creating the jingle itself. Um, so I'll teach you how to do that in the next tutorial, hopefully, uh, in the next week or two. And uh, I'm pretty sure that is about it. Um, thanks for watching.